This is the cutest subway card I have ever owned in my life. The all-stop train for Seoul Station is now We're gonna take this airport railroad to our Airbnb. For our first meal, we just got some ramen, kimbap, and then we are also watching the Mama Awards because I've been traveling for like 24 hours. I don't really wanna do anything right now, so we're just keeping it simple. Hey everyone, so I am back in Seoul and right now I'm headed to Cafe Onion, which is a coffee shop. I'm so excited to be back because it's so fun here and I just love the energy and vibe. It's actually really nice today because usually it's kind of cold. So this is the stop we're getting off of. Here is Cafe Onion and what's cool is that they have like a back alleyway where you can kind of sit so you can come in here. Here's their menu. They have these little pastries here. This black crunch looks so good. I'm gonna get one of these. Here's a closer look of their menu. We got one mushroom focaccia, a black bun, and then we have two Americanos, one cold and one hot. There's like walnuts and cream cheese in here and the topping has this like crusted bit on it and it's so good. But do you see this color? Oh my God. Here is the aftermath of all the food that we just ordered. Well, okay, we ordered like two breads. Everything was really good. You guys should definitely come here if you haven't yet. They make really good pastries and coffee and they also have tea. So I think it's definitely worth the visit and the aesthetic is amazing. Like I love the colorway in here. It's in like this hipster kind of neighborhood. So there's a lot more cafes around. Coffee makes you happy. They know what's up because that's the truth. How cool is it that we are like literally in a subway station right now and they're selling ready-made hot food. They have those fish cakes and just like tteokbokki. Oh my god, guys. This is amazing. There's so much stairs. I'm already tired and I didn't even walk up any. We're gonna go into this e bar just to see what they have here. Wow, they have poured ice cream. We just came to this Emar to get some drinks. So I'm getting this Korean ginseng and then we have a vitamin C like lemon drink. We've come to Common Ground just to shop around and I've never been here and the building looks super cool like shipping boxes. Everyone is over here taking pictures. Very Instagram worthy. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Just a bunch of little sections to buy clothing. mainly just clothing and food but the area is actually really small so it's mainly just to kind of like walk around and hang out we're at the second floor right now so this is just an overview of the whole place this is the area you can see behind me I'm gonna try this Korean red ginseng drink that I bought at the convenience store I've never had red ginseng before so we shall see what it tastes like 
I actually really like it. It's kind of sweet. This is good. I'm sure this is like supposed to be for some specific uh, when you're feeling sick or something, but I'm just like drinking casually. It's actually really good. It's kind of sweet and it tastes like a little herbally medicinal, but I kind of like those type of tastes. We're at Common Ground and we're gonna head to this coffee shop called Share D Table because it is another one that I want to go check out and since it's in the neighborhood, we're just gonna go there all at once. So right now we're at Common Ground and we're gonna go to Share D Table. Basically, I'm gonna walk in this direction. We've just made it to this coffee shop called Share D Table, and it looks super cute inside, so let's go in. This is such a pretty cafe. And it is so big, so there's a lot of space in the back as well. You know, I'm all about the aesthetics over here. So I got this pink mocha and Look at this, it's so pretty. I need to come fill my card first because I have like no more money in here. I'm gonna put 10,000. And then it should load for you. We are taking this train. Today we are going to Yujong Shikdang, which is the restaurant. Do you hear that? Okay, anyway. We are headed to Yujong Shikdang, which is the restaurant that BTS used to frequent. I see a lot of their pictures inside. And yeah, let's go in. Everything smells so good. Am I ready? I feel like a beauty vlogger showing makeup right now. Okay, we got a bite over here with a piece of kimchi. They're delivering pork right now. It's like just on the floor chilling. All right, I made it to the wine store. I know I showed this place last time I was here, but there's new BC Tour and Winter products and just way more products that they had last time. So I want to show you guys again because there is an insane amount of products here and I'm just super excited right now because they are so cute. Look at his scarf. Oh, Mong's body looks like shimmery, like they upgraded or something. This is a really nice neighborhood. It's super chill. And there's a bunch of little small shops and the sunset or sky looks so pretty. It's like this peachy pink color. We've just come to this bubble tea shop called Kofioka. So let's go in and check out some drinks. Oh, it's tiny in here. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of signatures here. We came to this bubble tea shop and there is K-pop everywhere. Some idols also sign the tables. It's everywhere, guys. So we ordered a peach tea with tapioca and then we also have a coconut milk tea so there's tapioca bubbles on the bottom and they were so nice they gave us jungle sleeves but it's to keep right so then she gave us like another person I'm sorry I don't know who this is Taeyong just drinking peach tea from this shop here it's super good we've just come to Acne Studios to look around look how beautiful it is right now I am in love with this view Guys, they have this Samyang fire chicken noodle sauce here. That is crazy. I think like my body will explode if I use this. I like spicy, but not that spicy. I'm back here at Metaheal. They actually sell this in New York, but over here it is what 9,000 won. In New York, they sold a pack of these for like 20 or something. It was insanely expensive. Their little winter accessories are so cute, and look, they have little tote bags on their arms. So I am at Myeongdong right now and there's so much food so we are gonna go out and buy some goodies to eat. Oh my god look at all these pomegranates. 
This looks so good. They have little packets of these spicy chicken almonds. Oh my god, I didn't even know this was a thing. We're at the subway station right now and BTS commercial is here. We're waiting for the train right now to go home and winter is on the train adverts eating Oreos. So now I want Oreos. Kangnam is so crowded and it's Monday night and it looks like the weekends, but I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb now. Should we shop around here? What's their shop at? Body shop. See, it's everything that we can get. Yeah, that's true. My fingers swelled up or something because my rings are stuck right now. It did not go on like this this morning. It's like my bones grew. It looks so gross. But anyway, I picked up a Shooky today at the line store because I like this size because he's not super big. And I also really like that he doesn't have that cookie texture because I don't like how rough that is. This one is super soft and squishy and I feel like I just bought a new little baby. Nighttime right now. Right now, we're just sitting here waiting for our shuttle to go to our snowboarding Nami Island tour. And here is everyone waiting. There's not that much people actually. But this area is really nice. It is at Dongye Moon, so that is the plaza over there, I believe. So cold. After we uh, finished to traveling the Lamy Island, okay, it should be around uh, 12.50 to 1 p.m. around. And then we return to our two of us to move on to the skiing uh, location. I can't even see outside because it's so cold. That this bus is like all fogged up. Thank you. So here is our ferry for Nami Island. We just ordered our Americanos from this cafe called Nami Nara Republic. This is all their drink menus. You know the first stop is that we need caffeine, right? Because I am not awake right now. So we have arrived at Nami Island. I believe this is the really popular tree lane from the scene from the drama that I never watched. So I don't really know, but it looks pretty here and it's super peaceful. Today is supposed to be the warmest day in Seoul while I'm here, which is the highest is like 40 degrees, but I think it's because um, I'm on this island right now. It's extra cold, but there is a campfire right here. It's super warming, but a lot of like ashes are coming out. So yeah, don't inhale that guys. <laughs> they should put the fire everywhere. It's seriously so pretty here. They really decorated this place out for you to take pictures and I'm here for it. Guys, there's a peacock here. Oh my god. The colors are so beautiful. Wanna be friends? We're gonna get some of these steamed buns. We just got these steamed bun that is supposed to have red beans inside and I love red beans so can't wait to try this. It is a thousand won each and it looks super pillowy. So here is the inside of the bun. Oh the music is so loud. Hold on. I'm really here just to eat food. <laughs> This is really good. I love red bean buns. We are getting fish cakes right now. So 
so here is our fish cake so we just got I tried these the first time the other day and they're so good so we just got some of those we're just gonna put some of the sauce it looks really good I love all these like sesame looks like there's some soy sauce and like spring or green onion I love that stuff so I'm just gonna brush a few or drop a few of this in there let's just dump the whole th oh is that too much guys maybe okay oh my god I'm sure it will taste amazing I'm just here for the food. I like the herbs that they have. Yeah. It's kind of like um, the Chinese steamed fish, the ginger with um, soy sauce and scallion. It tastes exactly like that, like that sauce. <laughs> they also have grilled corn here, and I love corn, but I feel like every single time I eat it, I need to floss my teeth because it gets stuck in there. There's some more birds over here and they look so fluffy and white and soft. Oh my god. They look like some sort of peacock, but I'm not sure. I've never seen these types. They don't play around with these food over here. We just got a hot dog and a fish bar or fish cake bar. I'm gonna try this hot dog. There's a squirrel right above my head. <laughs> It has a whole corn on the cob in its mouth. We're here at the sequoia trees and it smells so good here and these trees are really pretty. It's so peaceful and beautiful. I love being in nature. We're here at this bell Wow, this is just so beautiful. There are more snacks here, so we're gonna go check it out because yeah, there's beautiful nature, but there's food. We're here to get some hoto. We just got some hoto from this shop up here. Can't wait to try it. I didn't get into the filling yet, but the outer is really good. Mm. The inside, oh my god, it's like this sweet, nutty cinnamon brown sugar. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. It looks good. Yeah. We're waiting for the ferry to leave Nami Island, and our next destination is to go snowboarding. I've never been snowboarding, and I feel like I'm gonna fall a million times, but we shall see. I have a feeling it's gonna be really fun, so. This is everyone lining up for the ferry. This ice sculpture here is insanely cool. I feel like I'm in an ice castle. Oh my god, it's so slippery. Okay, be careful. But this is so cool. We're here snowboarding. Check out this view. I'm kind of nervous because this is the first time I'm snowboarding. I'm not that good, but surprisingly I'm not okay no I felt my butt so much times that it's burning right now because it hurts but this is a lot of fun we've just come here to return our clothing that we rented for our snowboarding We've just come back to Dongne Moon and we're gonna go take the train back to Gangnam. My butt hurts so much from snowboarding that every single time I walk, it's hurting. This time around, we're also living in the same building as we did the first time, but our Airbnb is different. 
We've just come to this restaurant to get dinner, which serves Chinese Korean food. So here is the menu for the restaurant we just came into. So they have like your jajamyeon and champong, you know, those super popular Korean Chinese dishes. It's all in here. Oh my god, there's a fire going on. But I love that there is like a self service bar for Tamuji. Thank you. Our food just arrived. It came super quick, so we got two bowls of jajamyeon, dumplings, and jambong. Oh my god, it looks so good. Way better than the packaged ramen. Of course. This we also have some dumplings here, so let's just give that a taste first. <laughs> It's very juicy. It's good. Let's taste. our time at the Skanchon rail bike. I feel like this was more for like maybe spring or fall when the weather's really nice, but it's a little cold today because we're gonna be outside. But it's basically a rail bike and we are the only ones here right now. I have a heat pack, it's so tiny that it's not really like helping, but I guess it's better than nothing. We just got some coffee. I am so sleepy right now, but this is the good stuff. This is the location that we're at, the Ganchon Rail Park, and we're gonna take some rail bikes. So we're just waiting for our time, which is at 10, and it's around like nine something right now. This is what we're gonna be doing, but you can probably see that people come here when it's like spring, summer, fall, and we're here when it's like in the teens, but it's all good. It looks really pretty. So we're just gonna be waiting here. And it's 9.26 right now. I'll show you where the bikes are. So we got this one, which is a two-seater. They are back here. I don't know if you can see it on camera right now, but it's snowing really lightly, so it actually looks really pretty. So these are the bikes that we're gonna be on. There's two-seater and four-seater. I got the two-seater, but if you're going with more family or friends, you can also do the four-seater. Also, if you guys are planning to come here, they sell coffee and food, and it's all in English, so it's really easy to order. There's also some little snacks over here like hot dogs and fish cakes, sausages, stuff like that. And then there's also like this little convenience store in here. Yeah. I'm excited. It's already moving. Oh, fasten. Okay, let's fasten the seatbelt. I'm ready, guys. Everyone's all lined up, ready to go. Funny thing is, I don't know how to bike in real life. Is that embarrassing? Probably. I guess no one's really taking the four-seater. It's like all empty over there. Do you see that steam? It's cold. My legs are low-key too short to ride this, so I have to like scoot back a little bit for them to reach, but we're going. It's so windy. My hands are frozen. It's so cold, like I don't even feel this heat pack and these gloves are not really helping anymore.
We're coming into this cave right now. I think it helps that there's snow, so it looks a little more wintry. Whoa, it's so pretty. Look at all the snow, oh my god. Well, it says, do not step off the bike in the tunnel. Yeah, sounds dangerous, don't do that. on my humongous hat to block some window. Like, do you guys see the front over there? It's like a whole light show. Oh my God, guys. This is like a tunnel club. We just got off the rail bike and I think there's like maybe a few minutes for you to take a break before we like get back on. I feel like I cannot talk right now because my face is frozen from the cold. I can't even move my mouth properly. It's like frozen up here. This is a great time to take a break because I need it because my hands are so cold that they're numb and they're pain. I feel like they're about to fall off. Seriously, so beautiful right now because the snow is getting larger, but it's still really calm. And there's all these little beautiful kitties here. Oh my god, so cute! Oh, I feel so bad for them. It must be so cold. Come, no, come here. I didn't do anything. The train that you are currently on is called No as a popular membership training destination for college students back in the 70s and 80s, Palantori was a place of budding romance and unfamiliar moments. So right now we're on the train. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. And the snow just makes it even more perfect. We are getting off this train right now. We're just gonna chill here until the next bus back. So we got off the train here and the shuttle that goes back to the start point arrives every hour. This is a cute little neighborhood with a few like shops and food and there's a convenience store here. Now we are on our way back to wait for the shuttle bus and right now it is 11.24 and the rail bike started at 10. So all in all it was around like an hour-ish because they give us like 20 minutes just to take a break and kind of just enjoy the scenery. So the actual riding part probably did not last that long. So I would say this whole activity is quite short. Um, but it's definitely a really nice experience and if you just have some extra time I definitely recommend you come because it's not going to take you the whole day because it is the winter though It is so cold and when you get on the bike it's even colder because this wind is just like Blowing in your face. So if you do like the winter scenery put on a mask and make sure you layer with like scarves and stuff like I think I underdressed like I have earmuffs and scarves and masks and I did not bring it for some reason So we just got off the shuttle bus back to the entrance of the rail park. We're just gonna go take the train back to the city. Here is the entrance of our train. It actually looks like a palace or something. We're taking it here all the way back to the 7 train and then we can transfer. So this is the station to get to the rail park if you are taking public. It's the Gim Yujong station and I think the train is coming. Our train is here now. We just stopped back at our Airbnb and I totally forgot that I bought a Shuggy pillow. So he's just chilling on my bed. This place has a really nice view. We actually just bought some kimbap because we're a little hungry. Yeah, we got like this fried tofu one, which we tried before and it was really good. So we just got that again. 
So this just has a bunch of vegetables in there and some tofu. We're at Paris Baguette and they have so much BT Turn One product here. So this is all of their ice cream that they have. They have a BT Turn One cake here. It's so cute. And then there's also this rainbow one over here. These Madeline BT Turn One cookies set here. We just got some food. Got like this pizza over here. Bread, some red bean mochi, tiramisu tart, and a cheesecake tart. This was really good. Just like a fried mochi coated with sugar, and then there's red bean filling inside. We just stopped by this restaurant that apparently I think the weightlifting fairy filmed here. I've come to Stal Nanda to do some shopping. So I hope I can find some stuff in here. Let's go. And then there's also chew on this other side. New arrivals. Let's go look at this first. We've made it into the Pink Pool Cafe here at the Stan on the Hongdae location. There's so much clothes here, I don't even know where to begin looking because I love Stel Nana. Just always here eating all the food at Mang One Market, and this is from Isaac Toast. It's kind of sweet and savory, so it's pretty good. So we're getting into Cafe Plate right now, and if you guys don't know, this is. Jay from Icon's Sisters Cafe. cheesecake and Oreo chocolate cake and there are two coffee drinks one is a cappuccino and one is an ice americano let's try this cake my god there's a whole icon section over here We're here at Latte World. It gets really busy throughout the day, so if anyone is planning to come here, probably come starting the beginning of the day because it's really packed right now. We've just arrived at Latte World. I'm super excited. 
Look at this cute winter snowman decoration in here. Guys, this is the most exciting part when you get to choose which headgear you want. Oh my god. I kind of want this one. We're about to get on this floating hot air balloon that goes around this whole amusement park. It's so much prettier at nighttime, so if you guys are planning to come, make sure you can stay until it lights up like this. So pretty.